In this video, I will be showing you how I make my toilets look new, how I restore them. So I get a toilet like this. It's clearly had a lot of use. Does not look very pretty. It's got some minerals running down the back and I'll show you how I make it look new. So over here I have my cleaning supplies, which are muriatic acid, a glove to protect my hand from muriatic acid, a dish to pour muriatic acid in, a scouring pad for spreading the acid around and removing the dirt, a cloth to dry out the tank and bowl before applying the acid, a putty knife to scrape the wax off of the bottom, some pieces of a broken toilet tank to remove the paint and caulk, and of course, water. So I also might use this pumice stone just to clean up the rest of the caulk or paint that doesn't come off with these pieces of china. I also use some tools to remove the parts from the tank. So first things first, I separate the tank from the bowl, which involves unscrewing these bolts here. I will pause and I'll be right back. All right, so I've gotten the tank off. Now I need to remove these parts on the bottom. Sometimes it takes a little more force than this. So pretty much got the picture. Just take these two things out and the handle out and get all of the parts out of the tank. So now that I have removed the parts, I want to flip over the tank. and get the stuff out. Unscrew the handle. I always forget which way these turn. And since this tank is dry, I will not need to dry it out more to do the acid. So the bowl, it's got some stuff in it. So I'm going to get my cloth here and dry out any remaining water that is down in the bottom. And since these kinds of toilets have a different style trapway, sometimes the water gets stuck down at the very bottom. But I'm not too concerned about that since that's not a part I see and I don't need to get any stains out of there. So now that this is dry, I'll be right back to get my glove on since I need two hands to do that. And then I'll show you how I do the acid. All right, so got my beautiful glove on and now what I want to do is open up the acid and pour just a little bit into this cup that's usually more than I use this is usually way more than I use so just gonna stick a little bit back in there so cap off the acid now that I'm done with it and get to work so I'll be doing the tank first since there is more to remove in the tank than there is in the bowl. So just dip it down in here like this, get a little acid, wipe it along the tank and look, it removes the rust like it's nothing. Look at that. Some of this black stuff on the side might not come off because it's rubber, but all this rust in here just comes right off. So I will pause the video and I'll be back when I have cleaned all of that up. So I have got this tank all nice and cleaned up. As you can see, the acid has turned a little bit yellow. So now I will go over here, get my hose, and just spray the acid out. Look at that. And as I mentioned before, sometimes this black stuff just doesn't like to come out. But now, I just give it an extra little wipe, just to get everything off, and then I'll spray it down once more. But you'll never know that there was ever rust in this tank if you look at it. So yeah, just spray it down like that so the acid doesn't soak in. I don't know if anything happens, but I just, I just don't let it soak in. So tank is good. Now I will do the bowl. So one thing you want to do is try to keep as much water as possible out of the acid. So just get it on the bowl like this. 
it just cleans everything right off. It's like it was never there to begin with. And if you ever cleaned up a toilet like this, you'll know that some of this stuff just doesn't come right off like this. This acid is magic. Well, not really magic, but it looks like it sometimes. And also it gets stuff from under the rim. Just give it a little wipe around the rim to get any minerals. There are some around that big jet there. Just get that off. Maybe stick my finger in the jet a little bit just to get any sort of staining out of there. And now, of course, I want to get all this stuff off the back. And once again, if you've restored toilets before, you'll know that this stuff does not just come right off like this. It takes real effort, unless you have acid. So, I'm just going to get this the rest of the way cleaned up, and once again, I'll be right back. So as you can see, that's major improvement from before. So I have scrubbed everything off as much as I want to. Now I'm just gonna spray it all clean. Look at that beauty. And I've got it all off the side here. So I even spread some in this little hole up here just because I don't like it looking orange when I have it all cleaned up. And I believe there are also some snake marks right here. I don't know if I'll be able to get those out or not, but that is what I use my pumice for. So just take it, scrub it on the snake marks, and usually they'll come out. This can be a quite tedious process sometimes, but it usually works. And there's also some right here. And this does not scratch the porcelain. So, just got all those marks right off. Now I'm, the water's all cloudy, so I want to empty it out again. And I want to just get the rest of the markings out of the trap. So, I will do that, and I will pause the video and be right back. So I believe I've got everything out of the trapway. Now, there are little blue stains on the inside of the bowl from dye tablets. So I'm going to use the pumice once again just to remove all that. And there's also some paint up here, some paint drips. So just a little, little pumice just removes all that stuff. It's got some blue spots around here as well. And I think it's still got some stuff under the rim here. Oh yeah, that's kind of ugly. So I'm going to use my pumice stone to clean all of that off. Sometimes that's not enough. So now I want to get my piece of china and just scrape it off. Now I'm going to spray it a little bit with some water just to get anything off. And now I'll finish it up with pumice. I think I'm done. Now I just gotta spray it. Let's see how it looks. Beautiful. Now let's try this side. See if there's any more of that stuff. Oh yeah, there's plenty. So, get my scouring pad here. I think it's still got some acid on it. Just wanna 
rub all that, all those blue drips off there. Just get everything out from the rim. This is going to need to get off. I'm going to scrape that. And now I'm going to spray it. And the thing doesn't like to shut off sometimes, but now I'm going to use my pumice to clean the rest of that stuff up. And if you find yourself skipping parts of the video, yes, this is sort of a tedious process. But then again, you did click on it to see how I restore my toilets. This is how I do it. So, pretty much just remove that whole bad stain right there. Just got to clean up a little bit more. There we go. I'm going to spray it one more time. Looks pretty good. Just going to... Give it one more go with the stone. I believe that's all. Any more blue? Nope. So now what I want to do is get the tank finished up. So I'm going to lay it down here and get my scouring pad. I think it's down here. And then just... Wipe, wipe down the tank like this. Just get any spots off. I think that's paint. So usually I use my pumice for that. This is paint. Also this little spot right here. Sometimes you can rub off those little ones with the scouring pad. But yeah, this is pretty much standard for how I do my restorations. I just got little paint drips here and there. So once I do all that, I just get it on all sides. There's a lot of paint around here, stuff on the side. There's like dirt and grass on the back. So. I just need to repeat that process on all sides, and once again, I will be right back. So one more thing on the side of the tank. As you can see here, that is a lot of paint. So I just get my piece of broken ceramic and scrape all the stuff off. And usually this isn't enough to remove it all, so then I just clean up with the pumice that helps remove the smaller pieces that don't come off with this. So once that is done, I will be right back. I'll finish it up. And once it's done, I'll continue cleaning the tank. Then I'll put the parts in and start on the bowl. So now that I have finished cleaning the tank, I would like to put the parts in. So got all my tank parts here, all shiny and new. So I'm going to unscrew this nut from the fill valve. It's really actually difficult to do this one-handed. I'm going to unscrew it from the flush valve. Just going to stick that flush valve right in there like that, in that hole. I'm going to stick the fill valve in this one. And the tank bolts, of course, go in there. So I'll be right back when everything is assembled. So all of the parts are in the tank, except I just need to connect that hose there. But everything else is in here. That is done. So now let's move on to the bowl. So I need to get this flipped over. 
and it's probably not a good idea to do that one-handed, so I will pause once again and be right back. So it appears that I have already gotten most of the wax off, but I will just get the last of it. Just get all that good stuff off there. It's not really going to look much prettier than this, unfortunately, because this wax is really hard to remove. So now what I do is I just spray it, get it all wet, and then start rubbing. Just getting everything off the sides. Basically, just clean all the dirt off. So this actually has some minerals from where the old bolt leaked, so I'll have to chip those off. But, yeah, basically I just rub it all down on the sides. Be right back when I'm done since that gets kind of tedious. So I have pretty much removed everything from the sides here. Just need to spray it down one more time. As you can see, it's all shiny and clean, except, of course, all this stuff. Usually I just pull the big pieces off like that, and then I scrape the rest with my piece of tank. So, I don't know what all this green stuff is, but it's coming off. So, as you can see, that's taking the caulk right off. It's usually somewhat difficult, but yeah, got it off. So, basically, I repeat this process for the other side and the front. So I'll be right back when I have scraped it all off. So I've scraped all the stuff off the sides. As you can see, it really didn't get all of it. So now I just clean the rest of it up with the pumice. It's all coming right off. So, yeah, just, this is how I get caulk off. Pretty much just scrape the main bulk of it and then the residue clean up with pumice like so and repeat this process for the front and back. So as you can see, all shiny clean. Except there is this little scratch right here. I'll have to buff that off somehow, but also, you want to get whatever grime there is out from underneath here. No one's ever going to see this, but it's always nice to have it clean anyway. So, basically, just get the stuff off the side, scrape it with a piece of china, and then get the rest of it off with pumice, and use a scouring pad, just wipe all around. Get any little, any little smear of wax, any bit of stuff that I missed. So, I'll repeat everything I just showed you for this side. And then I will be right back. So, everything is cleaned up all along the sides. As you can see right there. So now I'm going to pick it up and bring it over to my stand there where I will do my video of it. I had to take a water break, by the way. So, now I'm going to bring my scouring pad my water over here where I have the toilet set up so now I just want to spray off whatever grass and stuff got on it from laying upside down just give it a full rinse around like this and now just want to scrub everything off the top I know there's they've still got the stuff around the base I usually do that last This part isn't really necessary, but I do it just to make it look extra nice. And another thing you find while restoring toilets, sometimes weird stuff, like why didn't they glaze those two parts on the bottom? Why didn't they glaze this here? So another. sometimes you find interesting stuff. So what I want to do now is this is pretty much all clean, but I want to get this minerals and stuff off from where 
the tank bolt leaked, I'll just use my ceramic right here and just scrape that right on off. And finish it off with the scouring pad. Looking nice. Looking real nice. And got that little mark there from where they removed the seat. I'm going to scrape that one off with my pumice stone. And sometimes this doesn't work. Usually I can get it most of the way like this one. But it's not going to be all the way off. Because someone really dug in there with a hacksaw. So, now I'm just going to spray it all down. See if I missed any spots. Missed this little stuff right here. Along the sides. Looks pretty nice. Just be sure everything's gone from the front and the sides. Little speck of paint right there. I think there's blue drip on the front so basically just get every little bit of paint off there everything some more paint drips here and so once I'm done just clean every little thing off I'll be right back and I will clean off the base so I got everything off of the top out of the inside off the sides last thing I need to do is get this stuff off the bottom. And if there's wax up here, like sometimes you'll see there's a bunch of wax around this hole, what I'll do is I'll rub all around it with a paper towel and then jam the paper towel through the hole to get any of the wax out. But this one doesn't really have it, so I'm just gonna scrub whatever this green stuff is, it's kind of stubborn. You'll find all kinds of things on the toilets. This one's less gross than some I've seen. I mean, it's definitely got wear and tear, but not like really gross stuff on it. Part of the reason I chose this one for the demonstration. So just clean every little green spot off of there. Everything, all the dirt, wax, whatever was on this toilet, remove all traces of its previous owners some paint right there and as you can see there's a little bit of markings so I just clean that up with the pumice clean up any of the orange from the uh, mounting bolts any of the rust just anything could possibly be on there so this side looks pretty good missed a little spot up here actually from when I had it upside down and getting it set up like this basically just helps me see any last little thing I missed and also it prepares for the video. So then back here under the trap there's a little more and I'll repeat this on the other side and I will be right back. So the bowl is all cleaned up. This is how it should look. As you can see, looks just like the toilets I show off in my restoration videos. So now all I have to do is connect the tank and give it a test flush. The tank is hooked up and I just needed to give the tank parts some adjustments just to be sure everything lines up. And of course, I'm going to clean up the tank lid, but that's pretty much the same as the tank, so you know how to do that. But basically, the last thing to do now is to give it a test flush and be sure everything works right. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot, and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video. Looks pretty good to me.